Greetings, everyone. Blessings and greetings. Come on in. Come on in. I am coming before you all today. All right. Let me just get it together. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Come on in. How are you, Miss Destiny? Come on in, guys. Come on in. Excuse my setup. Just welcome. Welcome, welcome. Work with me. Come on in. Don't pay the place in my surroundings, no mind. I'm just trying to get it together today. Ah, so come on in, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Sound Doctrine with me, your praise and worship leader, Prophetess Adams. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Sound Doctrine with me, your praise and worship leader, Prophetess Adams. We're going to be discussing a few things that the Lord has laid on my heart for you guys. He's unction me to come on in and just talk with you, have a word with you, just love on you. you. Guys, excuse me over here today. I'm just uh trying to get it together, but welcome anyway. Here am I. Come on in, come on in. Blessings, prophet. It's good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for joining, sir. I appreciate you. Um, Come on in. I want to do for my radio broadcast. I want to welcome you guys in for all of our viewers coming in from wherever platform you're watching from. We welcome you. We come on in. Blessings. It's a pleasure to have you. We welcome you. Swipe, share, and invite. That's what we ask that everyone do as you come into the room. Swipe, share, and invite. Right? Swipe, share, and invite. Come on in. Grab your word and come on. Okay? Um, come on in. We have something... Um, some word. Just, just come on. The, the spread, the spread is big. Come on and and, and come and eat with, us, with 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 me. Let's come on in and and let's just let's just share some some food. Let's just share bill. Let's just eat with me today. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Wherever you're at, whoever you're viewing from, share. Tell your friends. Prophetess Adams is on the line tonight. She has a word from the Lord. She want to share it with us. She want to talk to you. Come on in. Let us pray with you. Um, if you have any prayer requests, please send them in to prophetessadamsministries at gmail.com. That's how you can contact me. Um, come on in and welcome again. This is me, Prophetess Adams, your praise and worship leader. I come on in with a word um, from Sound Doctrine. The Lord has given me something that he wanted me to speak to the people. And I wanted to come on in. I want to greet everyone. So please forgive me if I don't see the names, if I don't see you coming in. I'm not ignoring you. I do watch the broadcast after the fact. So if you have a message for me, if it's something you want me to hear or see, feel free to type it in. Um, if we got any trolls in the room, hot them, de them demons at the door. We ain't doing that tonight. That ain't what we gonna do, right? So we, we, we haughting them demons. We ain't got time. We on a mission. We coming in to get in and get a word in from the Lord because right now we in a desperate need of some instruction. We need sound instruction. We need sound instruction. We need to know what God wants to do in this in this age. We need to know what we are to be doing right now. And I always come to encourage you and let you know I love you today. If nobody told you that they love you, Prophetess Adams love you. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. And um, I love you. I love you and I mean it, right? I'm coming out of the book of, um, real fast, I'm going to pray. Father God, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. First and foremost, just asking and asking you today that you will forgive us of any sins we've committed that we know of. Father God, forgive us of any sins we've committed that we know not of, that we be not hindrances to the prayers, the supplications, the requests made known unto you on behalf of the souls of us, your people. We love you, Lord. I come before you, Lord, asking first and foremost, as I decrease, that you increase. Incline thy ear to my voice, my voice to thine ear, Lord. Turn not thy face from me in this time of trouble. I come before you, O God, with a prayer request, with, supp with supplication. God. I come before you beseeching you by the mercies of God. Lord, that you would just begin to incline thy ear to our voice, our voice to thine ear. Lord, hear our cry, O God. Hear our supplications. Hear our request today. O God, we ask it right now, O God, that you would dispatch angels around about our broadcast. Dispatch angels around about the homes, the children, the grandchildren, the families, the generations of everyone that hear the broadcast. We rebuke the demonic forces of darkness that come against us. We cast down every wicked imagination. Every, every, every wickedness in high places, rulers of this world, we rebuke the devourer of the enemy. We cast down every wicked imagination today. We ask right now that you will open our ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto us. Father God, that you will open our eyes to see what the Spirit is showing us through your word, oh God, as we walk through sound doctrine tonight. We ask right now, God, that you will give us a mind. The Holy Spirit will stir up our minds tonight, oh God, and as we, as we yield ourselves to you. 
We ask that you would transform us all one by one and name by name by the renewing of our minds, creating us a clean heart, renew within us a right spirit. In Jesus' name, we bless you, we praise you, we honor you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, I'm excited, but I'm always excited about the word of God. I'm always excited about the revelation of, of the word of God. I'm always excited about what God is doing and what God is showing us and what God is revealing to his people through the word of God because we need this. This is our, this is the, this, the word of God is the, is the, is, is the road map for the saints of God. The Bible is not for sinners. It's a road map for the saints of God that has made a dedication to God to live a holy, righteous life. So the Bible is a holy road map to, to, to everlasting life right? Everyone is not going to get it. Everyone is not going to receive it. Everyone didn't get it and receive it in God's day, in Jesus' day. They won't receive it and, and, and everyone won't receive it and get it in our day. But I do want you to know that someone is praying for you. If you have prayer requests, put your prayer requests up. You can send up your prayer requests. We love hearts. Heart ma hearts matter. Send us up some hearts. Send us up some love. Sh swipe, share, and invite the broadcast. Share it with someone that you know that can, that can bless. Um, Sister Razor, it's a pleasure to see you, ma'am. It's been a while. I pray that your husband is, we is all is well, Mr. Razor. It's been such a while since I've seen you all. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're well. I pray uh, God's strength and, and, and blessings on all y'all's families tonight. But I'm going to come before you and I'm coming out of the book. I, I, I want to share something with you. We're talking, about, we're talking about the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. That's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Let's, 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 let's get into it. Listen, over in the book of Romans, Romans, Romans 1.18, and it reads like this. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in, un, in unrighteousness. Let me read that again. Romans 1.18, and it reads like this. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in un unrighteousness. See, those that are out here, the saints of God that are out here committing unrighteous living, unrighteous living, unrighteous lifestyle. Out here living unrighteously, unholy. Listen, and they know right from wrong. See, that's why the word of God say, and they hold the truth of unrighteousness. See, you already know right from wrong. You already know the truth. You know right from wrong. You know what you're doing. But you, but, I want to get ahead of myself. But you're choosing to live this type of lifestyle. But listen to what he say over here. He said, listen, wherefore God also gave them up. Wait a minute now. See, this was what happens. When you refuse to do right, when righteousness knock on your door, that's why the Bible say in the day you heareth my voice, harden not your heart. See, in the day I send my man or woman servant to you, one of my babies or whomever that's speaking righteously, whomever I send to you to correct and rebuke your conduct, harden not your heart. See, in the day that you heareth my voice, harden not your heart. You don't know when you may get an opportunity today. Tomorrow may never come. The wine is sung at best. Tomorrow, forget about tomorrow. You better worry about today. Today is the only thing that you can control. What you going to do today, right? Listen to this. Wherefore, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to, to, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. See, this is the stuff that God will do. See, I'm so tired of folk underestimating my God. He's not a this. He's not a that. God don't do that. God ain't no killer. God don't do that. That's not, this is of the devil. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, if you don't know, you'll soon find out. Prophetess Adams is a Bible girl. We do sound doctrine. We, ain't we don't reference out of nothing else. I definitely ain't coming out of my own wisdom. The devil is a lie. Because, I, 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 because, see, the Bible is not worldly wisdom it's not earthly wisdom it's heavenly wisdom so in order for you to speak the ordinance of god you must be holy ghost feel tongue talking foot stumping right and walking in obedience right and if we got faith as we claim we do see faith gonna make you act right faith gonna make you obey the word faith gonna make you get some good right yeah right see 
Faith going to make you do right. Faith going to make you obey and comply to the word of God. See, faith worketh obedience. Yeah. See, one thing about faith that folk fail to realize is faith acts wisely. Come on with it. Faith acts wisely. Faith ain't making no harsh decisions. Faith don't make rash decisions. That's not the operation of faith. Right? But let me not go off into faith because I can talk about faith. That's, 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 that's a message by itself. <laughs> but let me stay focused. All right. Listen, God, I'm so tired of folk talking about what God won't do, what God won't do. Let me, let me, this is, let's, let's just let the Holy Spirit break this down that we get an understanding. Cause in all thy getting, he said, get an understanding. The God I serve is a righteous God. He's a holy God. He's a pure God. And one thing about living upright and, and being ble blemishless, being without blemish, without spot or wrinkle, being perfect. One thing about being upright and righteous is unrighteousness cannot come in your presence without judgment automatically going out. God don't have to do nothing. He don't have to do nothing but be, be who he is. Sit on his throne. All he have to do is just be. Right? Now the thing about him just being in his very existence is that he is righteous. He's pure. He's holy. And one thing about holiness for a lot of folk that's not aware and not really familiar or don't have a whole grasp on holiness, unrighteous living can't come in in dwellings. Unrighteousness cannot step into the dwellings of, of righteousness, of holiness. Convictions go out. Judgments go out. See? When Sodom and Gomorrah and the sins thereof and all the surrounding cities, when they was on the earth doing what they wanted to do, as the words say, living as heathens, no rules, no regulations, no ordinance, no order. They was disorderly. They was immoral. They was unruly, unholy, ungodly, unrighteous, unthankful, ungrateful with no rules, no regulations, all holds bars, do as you will. No order. Totally disorder. Totally disorderly. That's right. Miss Destiny, they ain't have no conscience. They ain't have no, they ain't have no moral compass. They ain't had no guidance. They did whatever this flush was big and bad enough and told them to do. Anything it gave them an urge and a craving to do, they carried the act out. But what happened by and by? See, mother used to say, mother used to say, look girl, you may get away, but you ain't going to get by. Keep on living. You may get away from stealing a hat. You may get away from stealing them shoes. You may get away from going to being a booster, smoking your weed, smoking your this, doing your that, doing your this, boo, 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 jumping from girl to girl to girl, jumping from man to man to man. Yeah, you may get away with it for a long while, 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 while. My mama used to always say, you're giving yourself enough rope. She give you enough rope to hang yourself. But by and by, as your sins go, 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 they go up, up, up. As your sins go up and hit the, hit the foot of heaven, judgment automatically comes out. It's not that God is throwing, is God is just killing people. His righteousness is who he is. It's his existence that will not tolerate the foolery of mankind. God is a, yeah, he righteous. Mm -hmm. And he knew his makeup wouldn't allow him to sit on his throne and constantly have these sins coming up. Because it was not, now see the, the, but God is still merciful because if he hadn't had the mercy that he had, he wouldn't have never took himself from himself and put himself as a son to himself and put his son down here through the wound of a, of a human flush to come down here in this filthy flush. He wouldn't have never left his Shekinah glory to come down here in the flush just to reconcile us back into communion with God because we were so unruly and unholy and unrighteous, we fell out of fellowship with God. And so God was just, the, the sins which kept coming up and God just steps and the lightning bolts from heaven just kept coming down, destroying the earth, destroying the people, destroying generations, destroying them, destroying them because he is righteous. He said, listen, I got to give mercy to these people. He must have said to himself somewhere, you notice me paraphrasing because I ain't read that in scripture, but somewhere, somehow, somewhere, something had to take faith, take place for him to say, let me send my son, G let me send myself down as my own son through the, through the wound of a flush woman so that he can be, I can be a living example that they can live on this earth and get 
and righteously. They can live on this earth without sinning. We can. Because if it wasn't able to be done, Jesus wouldn't have did it. If it wasn't able to be done, God said he don't put no more on us than we can bear. He's not. What kind of God would that be? That's not righteously. That's not a fair mother. That's not a fair father to know that I'm only 50 pounds and give me 500 pounds to carry to the house by myself. That's not even fair. But we ain't talking about fairness. We're just talking about righteousness. But that's not even righteous. Because the word don't back that up. He said, I won't put no more on you than you can bear. So if he told us to live an upright, holy, righteous, and, 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 and godly lifestyle, obviously it can be done. Obviously it can be done and it's in the reach to be done. It's tangible. It's, 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 up, it's obtainable for us to get this thing done. Else he wouldn't have done it. He wouldn't have gave us the commandment, right? And I want you all to know a little nugget that... The, t the Ten Commandments is just the ten, the first ten. Everything in that Bible, the Bible is a prerequisition. It's a prerequisite, right? Everything that God told us to do is a commandment or ordinate ruling commands. That's considered a commandment. He is the authoritative individual that gave us these commandments. And the command is for us to be ye holy for I am holy. Holy is righteousness, righteous living, upright, right? So I, so I just put that in there. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies. See, God did this. Let me read it again for all of those that don't think that God is just, is not going to live up to his righteous existence. He is because he told you what to do. Now, see. God operates on a, on a, on, operates on, God operates on a, 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 um, he operates on a, on a, on a level of reciprocity. This is how God works. And like I said before, the Bible is a prerequisition. So if God, God say, if you do this, if you live righteous, if you live holy, if you live upright, if you do what you need to do, he said in the scriptures, I will not withhold any good thing from them that walk up right before me. Right? So he's saying, if you do this, I'll do that. If you live righteous and holy, you'll get to heaven. If you live unholy, if you live unrighteous, if you do fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, drinking, smoking, cussing, fussing, adultery, backbiting, uh, manipulation, lying, stealing, murdering. Listen, you're going to find yourself in hell. Right? Somebody need to tell it. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me yet. Right? Because I ain't finished. Wait till after the message. Do what you do. I, I, I understand. Right? But, but, it, but listen, the truth need to be told. You, you, you should be tired of folks playing with your soul. We should all be sick and tired of folks playing with our souls, playing and manipulating, the, manipulating everything, playing with our souls and, 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 and got our souls in limbo, got our souls in trouble with God. It's time out for that. It's time out for that. It's time that we get our souls in order. It's time that we get truth. It's time that we get righteous. Sit down, take some inventory, figure out where you went left at so you can make that left and turn around and come back right because it's time out for this foolishness. The souls of the people is, in, is at stake. Your soul is at stake. Folk is dying, going to hell every day. And it ain't because God putting them there. It's because they refuse to obey the word and ordinance of the most high God. Rebelliousness. See, the wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience. The wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience. He is tired of you disorderly, disobedient folk. That's why he said, I'm going to, I'm going to give to myself a, 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 a peculiar people. Holy Ghost filled, dedicated, obedient people that is going to obey God. No matter what, we have to be in obedience. How you think you, listen, I'm so sick of seeing a rest in peace to all the hell raisers. They ain't in, who said it was peaceful rest for them? But I understand also these are folks that don't know the Bible too, right? These are folks that wasn't reading the word of God. These was folks that wasn't in compliance with the word of God. These was folks that didn't understand the existence of God. Had they understood the makeup of God, they would have lived their lives a little differently. 
but let me let me finish this because I don't I don't want to I don't want to bore none of y'all. I don't want to bore nobody. So let me let me let me get back to it. I just love it. I just love this. That's why I keep starting it over. Wherefore God also, meaning this ain't the first time. God didn't did this before. God then also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts. I want you to hear it. That's why I'm repeating it again. God gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts. See, their minds was corrupted. That's the heart of man. The heart of man is not this. This is a muscle. This is nothing but a muscle. It don't have feeling. It don't do nothing. It's a, it's a sign to pump blood to keep the body alive. That's it. It don't think. It don't do nothing. The heart of man, when the Bible is talking about the heart of man, it's talking about your mind. That's why he says, so a man thinketh, so is he. Get your mind right. Get our minds right. Because our lust and the desires thereof and the corruption starts in the mind. If you get the head, the body going to follow. I was raised up around pimps and hoes. So that was the language they spoke. That's all my cousins and them, they, that's all them boys used to say. Man, if you get, you know, I was, I was one of the young ones. So, you know, I just would hear them. Oh, and I was just overhear them. Man, you get the body, you get the head, man. The, the body going to follow. Man, get her mind, man. It's womanizers. Now they all come for prayer. Praise the Lord, right? Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness. Amen. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to, dis to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie. See, let me break it down. God did this and turned these people over to, dis to dishonor their own bodies amongst one another because they begin to turn the word of God into a lie. Let me give you an example. Like these homosexuals. Now they talking about, they talking about, it's about love. It ain't about love. It ain't about love. About, it's about love. It's about lust with them. This is the desires of their flesh. And that's exactly right. He, and when you don't heed to the warnings that God give you, because one thing about God is he also said that he will not come back. He will not come back. He will not judgment. Don't fall on them. They've getting, they've given, he's been giving them ample time to get this thing right, to re, to turn from their wicked ways, repent and get their soul right with him before he allowed destruction to come upon them. Right. They turning the truth of God into a lie. They lying on the Bible. They rewriting the Bible. They're making. They're 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 justifying and 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 and, and, and manipulating the Bible to to justify their sins. Just like they say, oh, we can drink wine. Jesus drunk wine. Come on now, you're turning the truth of God into a lie. He ain't talking about fermented wine. Back in those days, anything that came off the grapevine was considered a wine. That's why you had two forms of wine. You had fermented and unfermented wine. That was back then when they turned the water into wine at the wedding. That was grape juice. Because let me say this to you. One thing about righteousness and, and uprightness you can't have a blemish, spot, or a wrinkle. So you can't be, you can't be under the influence of alcohol and perfect at the same time. The devil is a lie. Y'all gonna stop lying on my God. He has not drank no wine. Then he ain't drank no alcohol. It wasn't no Morgan Davis. It wasn't no MD 2020. It wasn't none of that foolishness. It was grape juice, people. It was grape juice. It was ferment, it was unfermented wine. It was not. It was grape juice. But grape juice is a modern day name. So they didn't call it grape juice back in his day. It was that's a day that came, that's a name that came in my day. Right. Or before my day. See, they changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. See, they rather serve man and serve God who's blessed forever. See, amen. For this cause, God, here we go again. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, meaning wicked, unruly, mm -mm. wicked, vile affections is wicked and unmoral affections. Homosexuality is moral, I mean, immoral, immoral and wicked. 
God gave them over. You know why? Because when they was, when somebody was, God sent somebody to them to come to, to rebuke them of their homosexuality in the acts that they were doing, they refused it time and time and time again. So God gave them up. See, the more we sin, what we don't understand is sin separates us from God. That's why God had to bring Jesus down here to die on a cross from our sins because our sins was so great. It drawed such a goat fix between God and I, between God and the human race. Let me say that the devil is a lie. It drew a great division and a great separation between God and the human race. And it, and our sins was so great. It put us out of the reach of God. It put us out of God's reach. We know God's arms are big, but this is how God operates. After you walk so far away from God, you become out of the reach of God. Because one thing, sin is one thing, but an abomination is a whole nother level of sinning. See, sin is sin is sin. It is sin. However, an abomination is wickedness now. All sin is wickedness, but when you become an abomination, because God does call sin in the Bible wicked. After you become, after he turned you over to, an, to a reprobated mind to do the things which are not convenient and turn you over to vile affection. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now you get out of the reach of God. Now you become so wicked that you can't get yourself back. See, that's why the book of James talk about the affectionate, fervent prayer. That's why the book of James talk about the affectionate, fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much because they are out of the reach of God that they can't pray. Sinner, wickeds can't pray for themselves. Murderers, they become so out of the reach that they can murder. I, I know a young man was out here murdering and conscious with sears with a hot, I mean, he just, he, he, man, listen, can, he, can kill you and go eat a sandwich on your, on your, on your body. Listen, this is because our, we, 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 Bible say come from amongst them and be ye separated. Once you become a new creature in Christ, you ain't got no business co communicating and, and dibbling and dabbling with these ungodly people. And you, I don't care who they is. My kids, my grandkids, my mama, my father, my sister, my brother. Listen, I can't discriminate in this walk. Because when you begin to discriminate, that's the door that the devil gonna kick open to snatch your salvation right off your, off, out your, out your life. And if you don't get it together, you'll find yourself back in the muck that he brought you out of. And the, and he also said, he that turn around and put his hand into the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Listen, that's why backsliding is so hard for them to get back. Because over in the book of Luke, he talk about them demons. He talk about the, the spirit that gone out of a man. Seeking rest and, and finding none, walking through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. That demon said, let me go back to that house. Let me go back to my house, he says. That's what the demon said. Let me go back to my house where I was swept and garnished. Bible say, the Bible read, he went back to his house because he's, this is how the demons play. Once they've came into your place and been in your house and made residence in your body and, the, and you get saved and God deliver you from that mess. Because once you get saved, God delivers you immediately. He cast that demon, them demon, that demon out of you. So now you got a window of opportunity that you got to get Holy Ghost filled. You got to fill yourself up with something now. See, you got to replace that demon with something, which is the Holy Ghost. So when you start coming up in the church, getting whisked off by the nose and all these different org auxiliaries and don't sit down and get taught and learn something, that's the trick of the enemy. Soon as you walk through the door, they on the choir, you in the Bible stand, you and you teaching Bible study. You, well, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. The disciples even sat down for three and a half years and was taught something. They didn't come out the, they ain't come out the club and jump up in the pulpit. God forbid. And this is the kind of teachings that's going on. Now the baby's coming into the church with salvation and they're not being taught. They being, they being let loose in the church and all of that is a distraction to cause them to not get focused on getting Holy Ghost filled because after a while, we don't know what time, what time frame we got. But after a while, the Bible read that spirit said, let me go back to my house from which I was cast out. 
The Bible read when he got back to the house, he said he found the house swept and garnished. That means it was clean. You ain't have nothing on the inside. So that lets me know that the demons have power to see who got Holy Ghost, who's Holy Ghost filled and who got power and who don't. Them demons know the saints from the ain'ts. I don't know why the saints don't know the saints from the ain'ts. We got work to do, people. We, 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 we slipping. This is what your sister's this is what your sister's keeper look like. Your brother's keeper look like this. We slipping. Baby, you slip hanging. Prophetess, you slip hanging. Brothers, sisters, you slip hanging. For there's a higher level of praise required of thee. I hear it in my spirit. The Lord said, there's a higher level of praise required of thee he's expecting he's requiring a higher praise from us there's a higher level that god want to take us up to so for all of our immediate readers our immediate in, in, immediate readers read more you're reading a couple of verses a day read a few scriptures read a few chapters a day for all of our bible scholars get to reading a few more chapters a day for all of our prayer warriors get to get on your knees three four more times a day it's time for us to get about our father's business. There's a higher level of praise required of thee. God is expecting us to get on our face and do more. We're doing the bare minimum. We're doing the bare minimum. God is not pleased. For there's a higher level of praise required of thee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's a higher level of praise required of thee. God is beckoning you. God is beckoning you right now under the sound of my voice. Conviction should be going out right now in the land. God is convicting your heart before you even came on the broadcast. You've been being convicted by God. God has been tugging at your heart. God has been tugging at your heart. God has given you assignments. God has given you projects to do. God has given you stuff to do and you're procrastinating. Let me tell you something. Let me let you in on a little secret. Your procrastination is a form of disobedience. Your drag is a form of disobedience. Your procrastination is a form of disobedience in the eyes of God. We need to get it together. Get it together. Get it together. I beg you tonight, saints. Pray. Pray. Repent. 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 Your soul is at hand. Your soul is at hand. The Lord brought me on here tonight to beg with you guys to repent. Repent. Repent, said the Lord. Repent. It's time out for your weed smoking. It's time out for your alcoholism. It's time out for your partying. It's time out for your fornicating. It's time out for your backbiting. It's time for your lustful flush get your bodies under control the holy spirit is upset holy spirit is angry he said get your members that are upon the earth mortify the deeds of your members that are upon the earth and we call ourselves saints of god oh wait a minute they christians see chris let me let you in on another tidbit let me drop another nugget on you christians do everything it's the christians out here it was the christians that killed jesus Huh? It was the Christian folk that killed our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those them, they're gambling, playing cards, bingo, gambling, poker, talk, you name it, shooting dice at the casinos, at the corners, on the corners. We need to get this thing together, saints. This ain't going to go the way you think. Everybody thinking everybody died. Oh, rest in peace. Rest who the devil? What devil told y'all that this was peaceful rest for them niggas in the street acting ungodly and unseemly? And that's exactly what they are, niggas. Because that's what the Bible say. That's, I mean, that's what the uh, dictionary say. N niggas, somebody that's acting unseemly. It's not a black person. It's somebody ignorant to the fact. They're ignorant to the reality of what's, what's, what's required right now. And it's time out for that. 
We all need to come together and be praying. We need to be praying. We need to be fasting. We need to be mortifying the deeds of our flesh. We need to be getting our flesh under control, controlling our tongue, controlling our eyes, what we're watching, what we're listening to, who we're listening to, who's feeding us, who's influencing us. Come on now. Come on now. We chasing behind prophecy. We chasing behind prophecy. We want to be, pro that's why these devils out here prophet lying to everybody. That's why they prophet lying. Oh, they lying to us. Oh, the Lord said whoever birthday is in October on the 15th day and he got a word for you, drop $30 down in the, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody, first 30 people drop $200. What? Let me, let me, let me, thank you, Holy Spirit. For this cause, God gave them up to a veil of affection for even their women. Listen to this. For even the women, for even their women did change the nature. See, it said even the women did change the natural use, the natural use into, a, into which is against nature. That means the women went to homosexuality. This is what's been going on. This is what's, this is this is a right now word. This ain't no old oh, Sodom and Gomorrah word. That's the beauty about about our Lord and Savior. When He wrote this, when He allowed this to be brought, when He sat down and let these guys put this thing in motion and put and orchestrate the Word of God. The Bible read that they were holy men of God. They were holy men of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So it wasn't none. They was not. It wasn't. The Bible read that it was not one man's interpretation. It wasn't a single man's interpretation. These were men of God inspired by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave them what to write. And that's what they did. They was in obedience. They were in compliance. And God knew they were. That's why God was able to use them to this great capacity. Everybody want to be used, but don't nobody want to be broken. Don't nobody want to be pressed. Everybody want to be on the, on the platform, but don't nobody want to go through the pressings of the most high God. Don't nobody want to go through the, through the, through the, through, through the series of, of, of testings, right, right, of your faith. Nobody wants to be tried in the fire, huh? Everybody complaining and murmuring about being sick, about getting this, about this, being stuff going on, the trials and tribulations. They come to make you stronger. See? Trials and tribulations have a working relationship with faith. Faith know that trials and tribulations is going to breeze in and out of her life at will. She don't like it. But because faith is so humble and patient, she utilized these trials and tribulations to work with her faith. She know that trial and tribulation have a working relationship with her. Their job and duty and their sole purpose is to walk in and out of her life to build her faith up in God. To cultivate her, to strengthen her, to grow her, to stretch her, to be the best her she can possibly be. Now... When her faith is at its full capacity, now the gifts are come. The gifts come forth. The gift of healing. The gift of, uh, uh, of discerning of spirits. The gift of wisdom. The gift of knowledge. The gift of faith. Woo! See? Give me one second, guys. One second, one second, one second. I want to thank you all for who's joined the broadcast. Feel free to join me and continue this conversation over on Facebook. I'm on Periscope. But unfortunately for my radio broadcast, it is time for me to depart. I love you. Um, may you leave this place, but not we leave this place, but not your presence. We ask that God rest, rule, and abide in us. Keep us, take us, bring us back at the appointed time. In Jesus' name, we thank God and pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And for everyone that's listening through my radio broadcast, I pray if you need me, you can reach me. Prophetess Adams Ministries at gmail.com. I can be reached at Prophetess Adams Ministries at gmail.com. But I have to say goodbye to you guys, but I'm going to continue this teachings on Periscope and Facebook. You can find me under Prophetess Adams. So God be the glory. God bless you guys. Have a great rest of your night. God bless. Good night. Don't forget to wear your mask. Stay safe and stay healthy. God bless. So I had to end my broadcast on my radio broadcast, but I'm going to keep going with you guys. See, we have to be mindful. 
We have to be mindful. See, God does this. God is doing this. It ain't us ourselves. God allowed these men. They were holy men of God teaching the gospel. And he, that's how they were so faithful. They was tried. They showed themselves faithful. They showed themselves faithful faithful and loyal and obedient to God. And the more you obey, the more you grow, the more God revealed the revelation of his word to you, the more he'll give you. See, you can't come with nothing. So we ain't, we ain't coming with nothing. We coming with a dry prayer and, 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 and wanting something from God. But them men came presenting their bodies, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which was their reasonable service. And God used them to the max because of their humility. See, he said, if you humble yourself in due season, I'll exalt you. The problem is too many of us, we're trying to exalt ourselves and we want to be somebody great and we don't know nothing. Bible says you need to sit down and be taught. Sit down and learn something first. Sit down and put your time in first. Sit down and put your time in. You got to be qualified. We want to be, we want to, we want to sit on a platform, but don't nobody want to, everybody want to be great and everybody want to walk the walk and everybody want to be somebody great, but don't nobody want to be broken. Don't nobody want to be pressed. Don't nobody want to go through the fire for the Lord. Ain't everybody want to complain about that. See, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going I'm to I'm finish this, right? Listen to this. God gave them up to vow affections for even their women did change the natural use of her that which is against nature. See, that means that even the women started being homosexuals. The women went to lesbianism. The women, first it was the men. The men was begin to lay with men. That's what we just read earlier. They would, God turned them over to uncleanliness for the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So the men was with men. They didn't left the natural affection for a woman. So now the Bible reads down further. It said now, for this cause, God gave them up unto bell affections for even their women did change the natural use in that which was against nature. See, they went against nature. See, when women lay with women, that's going against nature. You ain't going to heaven like that. Let me tell you that. Let me let me say that to you. Until you get yourself repented and delivered, you will not get to heaven. Lay a woman laying with a woman. You will not get to heaven. Men laying with men. You will not get to heaven sipping on your beer. Sipping on your wine, smoking your cigarettes, laying with your boyfriend. You will not get to heaven cussing, fussing, murmuring, and complaining. You will not get to heaven lying, backbiting, and going the way you are. You will not get there the way you are. But he loved us so much, he told us to come as we are. Come with your cigarettes in your pocket. Come with your lying tongue. Come with your addictions. Come with your infirmities, all your sicknesses. Come with all your issues, and I will deliver you. But see, we're too busy thinking that we're going to go to heaven as we are. No, 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 no. There's a process, boo. Somebody lied to you. You might want to come up out of that church you're sitting up under because they ain't teaching you right. If you think you everybody that die is going to heaven, you in, a, you, you in for a big rude awakening. You are, well, then if that's the case, what did he come down here and die for? What did Jesus come for? If everybody going to heaven when they die, everybody resting in peace, the devil is alive. Them chumps went to hell. Stop lying to them people. That's why I ain't going to nobody's funeral. I can't sit there and lie. You know them from the fruit they bear. This ain't judging. Let's check that at the door too. We don't judge. The Bible says, speak the things you know and testify against the things you see. When I know what I know, I ain't ashamed. If the, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I done spent 15, 20, 25 years learning the Bible, learning this word. No, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. I done spent about 20, 25 years humbling myself before the foot of God. Humbling myself. He decided to exalt me. He decided to equip me. He decided to gift me. And I'm not ashamed of what I know. I'm not ashamed of it. The devil can't make me shame. I won't shut up about the gospel. I'm not going to hold on to the truth. I'm not going to agree with you turning the gospel into a lie. Into a lie. I can't do that. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, I'm all sold out for the Lord. Unfortunately for those that don't want to hear it, but I, that's not my business. That, that, that's one thing I do do. I mind my business. And I know that ain't my business. It ain't my business to try to decipher who like me, who don't like me, who want to hear it, who don't want to hear it. My job is to teach the word. Teach the word. He told me, prophetess Adams, teach the word. In season, out of season. That means when it's popular, when it's not popular. And right now, talking about homosexuals is not a popular thing because we done made it legal. They got babies. 
they get each other's pensions. It's popular now. They done made the truth of God into a lie. All lesbians and homosexuals is going to hell. Just like the liars going to end up in hell. The backbiters going to end up in hell. The fornicators going to end up in hell. The drunkards, the, 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 the lasciviousness going to end up in hell. Uh, 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 all of those that's living unorderly, disorderly, they're going to end up in hell. And that's what the Bible say. See, this ain't my doctrine. You know, I don't know. But I, what I do know is this. If I was able to keep smoking my woos and able to keep smoking my weed, if I was able to keep sipping on my cabassier, if I was able to keep sucking on my cognac and keep playing the field with these brothers out here, yeah, if I was able to keep doing that and make it to heaven, I would still be driving the bus straight to hell. What's the sex of getting sick? What is salvation if you're going to keep doing what you're doing? Mm -mm. Oh, you must be born again. Y'all better come up out of them dead churches and come up out of them old homosexual churches with them lesbian pastors and them gay, gay pastors and them lying pastors and them pastors that's teaching y'all from all these other doctrines, bringing all that heresy up in there. Y'all better get some truth in your life. Sound doctrine. Get sound doctrine. This is the only way we're going to make it to heaven. Don't let nobody play with your soul. Your soul is all you have. All we have to ex in exchange that's the only thing we can bring to God that he don't have already. Everything else is his. He own everything else. The only one thing we got that we can bring to God is our soul. That's all I'm saying. Because if you want something from God, let me let you in on a little secret. You're going to have to bring something to God. See, if you read that Bible, all through the Bible, our forefathers, every time they came to God or every time they came to a man of God um, wanting something from God or any time they, they came to a woman of God that they wanted something from God, they brought a gift. They brought a sacrifice. Rather it was money, rather it was an offering, rather it was a um, kettle, rather it was gold, silver, rather it was jewelry, rather it was feast, money, food. What, they brought a gift. They brought a sacrifice. They came with an offering. They didn't come empty handed. We so tight. Don't nothing go in. Ain't nothing going out. I ain't got it. I ain't paying no tax. I ain't giving no offering. Oh, oh. That's how you feel about it, sis? I'm just, listen. I'm just saying. I'm t I, poverty ain't my lifestyle. I ain't living in poverty. I ain't living check to check. That ain't what we're going to do. I'm going to give all the checks away until he bless me. I ain't letting go until he bless me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to wrestle with this angel. I'm not letting go till the Lord bless me. I ain't letting go. What you want? The kids? They yours. You want my husband? He yours. What you else you want? My members? All of me? Consider it done. What else you need? My eyes? Oh, you want me to sing to the honor and glory of you? Got it. Not a problem. Oh, teach the word? Not a problem. Okay. Now I'm in compliance. So now he say, I would not withhold any good thing from them that walk up right before me. We have to get in compliance with God. We have to get obedient to the word of God. We have to humble ourselves and get control of our flesh. Our flesh is running the show out of control. Okay. The women change their nature. The women even went against their nature, using it into the which it was against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of a woman. This is what lesbian and homosexuality look like. And this is what the Bible says about this act. And also many acts, because it ain't just about homosexuals and lesbianism. Oh, it's a whole lot of stuff that's gonna, that God talks about that, that's going to end us in hell if you don't check yourself. Right? But let me finish reading. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burning in their lust one toward another. Good God almighty. Men with men worketh that which is unseemly. What you talking about? God said men with men worketh that which is unseemly. That mess ain't even, un that is unseemly conduct what they're doing. Okay. And receiving in themselves. Listen. And receiving in themselves. 
This is why they always got so many sicknesses and baldness and all kind of infirmities in their bodies because of the acts that they're doing. They're sinning against their own selves. So now in their bodies, they all end up sick. The, pff, HIV, AIDS, all kind of other illnesses, rectal issues, bowel issues, digestive issues. They always end up with issues. Listen, because they're working against nature, right? Burning in their own lust one toward another. Men laying with men working that which is unseemly. Receiving in themselves that con that uh, re recompense. See, receiving within themselves that recompense. The, recom the recompense is the price, the wages. See, for the wages of sin is death. So basically, God is saying they're receiving within their bodies the price that they pay for the sins that they've act. So it says... And likewise, as men leave land with men um, seemingly and receiving them to themselves, that recompense of their error, the recompense of their error. So they're paying for their error in the sicknesses in their bodies. They are paying with their bodies hellfire because of the sins that they committed in their flesh. See? Receiving to themselves the recompense and the error which was met my god and even as my glasses is dirty y'all excuse me because i'm doing all of this <laughs> my glasses is dirty oh jesus hold tight hold tight guys hold tight hold tight <sighs> well these babies be getting dirty <sighs> wait a minute ah! <sighs> sorry y'all doctor told me my eyes was getting old that was mean he shouldn't have said that to me but that's okay um hallelujah 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 thank you thank you thank you and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge see these are people homosexuals lesbians liars murderers uh drunks these are people that do not like to retain god in their knowledge and i'm not talking about somebody that just talk the talk of god because he also say everybody that say lord lord will not enter the kingdom of heaven so you can talk about how you love god all you want with your mouth but your actions he said you say that with your mouth but your heart is far from it meaning your mind you ain't doing nothing to stuff you ain't retaining me in your knowledge you ain't keeping these scriptures that i said the do's and don'ts you're not keeping that in your mind and remembering that when you want to go drink saying oh i'm saved now i can't do that no more oh can't even go to the family reunion i love them but i'll send a little i'll send a little love to him but i can't go because i don't roll like that anymore we start discriminating no that's my sister that's my brother I, I love my sisters too but i ain't dealing with none of them huh? okay i love my brothers too but i ain't dealing with none of them i love i love my family too i love my kids too but i ain't dealing with none of them the lord said who is my he, they said jesus here come your mother he said who is my mother who is my father except they do the will of my father we ain't got no happenings going on. You know, that's Prophetess Adams putting a little something, something on there and putting a little spin on that. But he was basically saying, if they're not living, my new family is a saved family. My natural family, I love them. I'm going to keep them in prayer until they decide to turn loose the sins in which they're still living in and get saved. Then we can sit down and eat turkey together. Until then, we're not dealing with each other. So it's not that, oh, they didn't got saved. Now they think they all that. No, they didn't got saved and they didn't got obedient to the word of God because they're trying to stay saved. They're trying to stay saved. Now, now they're fighting for their for they soul salvation. So they're trying to stay saved. So they can't come to the family reunion with all the booze, all the cussing, fussing, all the marijuana smells. What I look like going and I, I can't go. Sorry. Ain't nothing personal, but my soul at stake. But everybody don't understand. Folks, some folks just gossipers. The Bible talk about the gossipers and the busybody. They just want something to talk about, chip, 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 chip about anyway, because that's their nature. They need to get it together. Right? And that's not my business. I can't even worry about them. Because that ain't my business. They can talk. I, listen. One thing you can't worry about is who like you, who don't like you, and all that foolishness. I, that ain't my business. I can't worry about that, baby. Bible say, pray for them that despitefully use you and say all evils and manners against you for his name's sake. That's all I can do is pray for my frenemies. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I can just pray for them. Blessings, everybody. I'm so sorry if I don't see y'all names. I'm not ignoring you. Um, I can't. I can't worry about that. 
I can't worry about that. I have to do what I need to do for me. You know, self-preservation is the first law of nature. I ain't no good to you. If I let you pull me back into the same sin we was all in, then who going to be praying for us? Somebody got to be on this side. If somebody got to be on the sanctified side, come on, saints, walk with me. Right? Just look at it from a different perspective. If we all sinning, if the blind lead the blind, we should all surely definitely fall in the ditch. Somebody need to get right. Somebody need to have it together so we can be saved. Right? Somebody need to get James, James, the book of James. For this affection, fervent prayer of the righteous man of avail it much. So if somebody got to be saved to pray for us so that we can all get it together, then the, then the, then the conviction started. Now, we, uh, you know what? I, I don't even want to smoke no more. I know not today. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm about getting sick of this. That's them prayers going up. Somebody praying for you. Right? Listen to this, though. Listen to this, though. See, and even as they did not like to retain God into their knowledge, God gave them over. God gave them over over because they had ample time to get it together and they refused. See, even though they refused to, even though they, even though they did not like to retain God into their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobated mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with the all unrighteousness, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetedness, maliciousness, full of envy, murderers, debaters, Deceit, maliciousness, whispers, excuse me, guys, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud. Oh, just proud, puffed up, better than everybody, know it all. Bolsters, man, I got this, I got that. You know what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. That's why we burying all our kids. That's why we burying the kids. They disobedient. And the wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience. The mamas is cursed. The mamas is disobedient to God. And now you're raising some disobedient children. This is just what it is. A tree can only bring forth what it is. A good tree is not going to bring forth corrupt fruit. And a corrupt fruit will not bring forth good fruit. You only are what you are. You are what you eat. If you don't know what category you lie in, let me say this to you. If you unfamiliar unaware about where you stand i really don't know what i really don't know where i stand within these categories i know i ain't living saved but i don't really know to where i stand all you gotta do is look at your friends because birds of a feather flock together right you are what you eat right that's how you distinguish who you are what you about you would example when you out in the streets, you see all the alcoholics together. That spirit going to draw them. You see all the homosexuals in packs. All the lesbians running packs. All the alcoholics running packs. All the crackheads running packs. All the thieves run together. Birds of a feather flock together. Right? So if you're unaware and unsure and uncertain about where, your, where you lie, where at that you lie, Check a look. Take, check out your homies. You know who, who, who you who you running with. Check out your running man. That, that's the best way you can know it. Disobedience to parents, without without understanding. That's what we're dealing with now. We got all these people in these pulpits. We got all these people. All these teachers. We got false teachers, false prophets, false prophetess, false bishops, false apostles. All these people with all these teachers. All these people teaching all this stuff without understanding. The Holy Ghost ain't speaking to them. They don't have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost ain't speaking to them. And they teaching their own foolishness. They're teaching their own doctrine. They coming out of all these NIV Bibles, SHQB Bibles, Blessings Bibles, the Messenger Bibles. That is not, them Bibles is not the word of God. Newsflash. I may lose a few people with that one, but uh, listen. Y'all gonna have to get the book and read it. Y'all gonna have to get the book. I, I breaks it down in the book. It's coming soon. It should be. It should be. It should be. It should be. It should be, it should be in print by next month, if it be the Lord's will, right? So stay tuned. But it, it's a.
total breakdown of everything that I'm saying now and everything that I've taught anybody that follow me. Prophetess Adams, you know I teach sound doctrine. I'm coming out of the word of God. I ain't coming out of my own theology. I know I'm coming out of man's philosophy. I'm not teaching man's doctrine. I'm not teaching heresy. I'm not teaching false teachers and false doctrines of devils. That's not my style. I'm coming. The Lord, the Lord told me to teach sound doctrine. That's where I, that's where I come from. Sound doctrine, straight out of the Bible. The does, the thou's, the days, the these, the yup. It's the Holy Ghost that give you understanding and revelation to the word. Listen, without understanding, covenant breakers, see, that's what we're considered with God when we when we get saved and we backslide. Now we're covenant breakers. So now you've broken a covenant with God. So you know, it's 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 these are the people. This is the this is where the wrath lies. The wrath of God is upon these children of disobedience. So you fall in any of these categories that the Lord got me naming. And you can find it in the book of Romans, verses 1. Mm -mm. Book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 24, all the way down to 32. Read it. Find out where you lie in these categories, if you lie in these categories. Repent. Get your soul out of the hand of the enemy and get your hands in the soul of God. Because right now, this is perilous times we living in. And I'm telling you, man, the enemy is taking people out because he don't want them to get saved. Listen, excuse me. Without natural affection, without natural affections, men land with men, women land with women, women land with dogs, do uh, men, uh, do uh, women, women land with dogs, men land with sheep. These is without these are a person living without natural affections. The uh, natural affection is a man for a woman and a woman for a man. I don't care who come and change the law. You can't change the moral laws of God. Homosexuality is hell bound. Lesbianism, hell bound. Bestiality, hell bound. Incest, hell bound. It's these sins without natural affection. You cannot get to heaven in these acts. Period. Right? And this is the and this is the scripture. You can find it over in the book of Romans, verse chapter 1, verses 29 through 32. Okay? And it's a whole lot of other scriptures too. That's just where I'm reading from right now. Um, with knowing, uh, 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 I'm sorry, with natural, without natural affections, um, implacable, unmerciful folk today is just so unmerciful. They don't have mercy for nobody, but then they want God to show mercy when they're on their deathbed, when they're on their bed of affliction, when they're going through sicknesses, when they're going through hard times, when they're going through the valley, they want God to carry them, but they haven't done nothing for God. Haven't shown mercy to the neighbor. Haven't shown mercy to their own dogs. But they want God to be merciful to them. That's not how this work, people. Right? It say, who's knowing, who know, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death? Who knowing the judgment of God? How dare you say God ain't killing nobody? God ain't doing that. God ain't his nature. He is a holy man. He is a holy entity. He is a righteous and upright entity. He is pure. He is without spot or wrinkle. Any sin goes up to his throne. His judgment automatically goes out of him. And judge the act of sin that came before him. Right? He said, who knowing the mercy, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do they do the same, but they have pleasure in these sins that they're committing. Homosexuals is proud of their wife. This is my wife. What? They're on television. They got commercials. The LGBTQ community got commercials with the women. Now they got commercials talking about how you can, how you can um, fight HIV and still be who you are. The devil is a lie. Come on. Turning the truth of God into a lie. We got to get this thing together, right? Listen to this. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So when you sow to the lust of your flesh, you want a man, you want this, you want a drink, you want to smoke, you need sex, you need a gin, I need a blunt, I need a woo, I need a man, I need some sex, I need a, I need a drink, I need a dick. When you start sowing your, to your, that's your flesh talking, that's because you ain't got your flesh in control. So when your flesh start talking in all these cravings, because those are addictions, those are cravings, those are personalities that this flesh has within it. That's why we was born, shaped, born in, uh, shaped in iniquity, uh, 
born in sin and shaped in iniquity because the flesh we came down in. It's the sinful flesh that we live in. So as the spirit, when we get filled with the spirit, the spirit gives us nine, uh, nine personalities and nine personalities of the spirit. They're called the fruit of the spirits. Those are nine that comes from the Holy Spirit. Well, our flesh have over 60 different personalities and characteristics. So just imagine all of those going, going, going. One let go. This one open. This one closed. This one come in. This one switched. This one. It's a wonder we ain't lost our minds and crazy in the head. Well, some of us are. Okay. It says, for, for he that soweth to the flesh, to, the, to that the flesh they reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall be spirit reap life everlasting. That's Galatians 6 and 8. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify. Told you, you got to mortify the deeds of your members that are upon the land. That means fasting. That's how you control this. That's how you get them 60 characteristics under control. By the way, and I tell you what all of 60 of them are in the book. But you got to get the book. Stay tuned. Be listening out. It's coming. By next month, we should be ready. But the spirit mortify, um, the spirit uh, do mortify the deeds of your body. See, let me say that again. If ye, mm -mm, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. That's Romans 8 and 13, right? What fruit had ye, what fruit had ye then in those things? Wherefore ye now ashamed. See, don't be ashamed. For at the end thereof is death. We have to be mindful. We have to be careful. We cannot continue to live the way we want to live and think that God, we're going to get the blessings of God. That's not how this works, saints. I love you so much. I love you once. I love you twice. I love you three times. I pray to God that the Lord has said something and the Lord has shined some light on a few things that maybe you was unaware of, that maybe maybe you wasn't aware of it to the depths of it. Maybe you may have heard of bits and pieces and little bits of it, but you wasn't too aware of it. And I just pray that the Holy Spirit has said something here tonight that will pierce your heart, that will, um, that will lead to... Um, repentance in your life that will lead to your awareness that would shine and that would enlight your awareness and bring you some comfort in knowing that God loves you so much. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, you know, I have a few more scriptures, but I'm closing out. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining. I love you. Thank you so much. I hope and pray that God had pierced your heart and, and that have illuminated your heart with some knowledge and some things and shine some light on a few things that maybe you wasn't aware of. Maybe you may have heard about it, but didn't really know. Um, yes, ma'am. But maybe didn't know the depths of what we was talking about tonight, but we cannot get to heaven any old kind of way. He's not going to accept us. See, he brings us into the fold. He brings us into his, his, marvelous light so that he can clean us up from all the darkness we've been living in and get all the nooks and crevices out of our lives all of the the residue from that stinky lifestyle we live rather it was smoking drinking meth for me it was a variety it was a peripheral of things i did i i was knee deep in sin i came straight from the gutter you know i, I that's what i like to call it i came straight from the valley he came deep 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 down in the valley to come get me you understand what i'm saying um, and, and right out the projects uh, up in New York, you know, he came deep, he came deep down in the, in the gutty, gutty, he came, I was gully, you know, I was, I, I, I was, and I was loyal and faithful to that life too. And that's why I'm so loyal, faithful, and passionate about this newfound life because I was sick. I was on my deathbed. I was on my deathbed. I was literally under doctor's care when the Lord convicted me, had somebody, somebody was praying for me and wheeled me in. So I'm grateful. So I don't take this lightly. And I'm not coming here to play around with none of that. I'm grateful God gave me another opportunity. I'm grateful that he healed my body. I am a walking, talking, living testimony, right? And he says that don't be ashamed of what you've been through, right? Don't be ashamed for we are overcomers by the words of our testimony in the blood of the lamb. I testify. I was born with sickle, sickle cell, diagnosed with, with cancer by the time I was 15. I was cracked up, jacked up, messed up, homeless, in the streets. I done been through the wars. I done been, I mean, oh gosh. Woo! 
you got to get the book. <laughs> Not this one that I'm talking about with the word, but you got to get that other one that's coming out right behind that one. And you'll read about the testimonies of the sister because it's, 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 it's inspiring because I'm still standing. That's my point. My point is I'm still standing by the graces and mercies of God because of my obedience. I am still here. And if you can get your, if you too can line yourself up with the ordinance of God, mercy and grace will be sufficient unto you as well. Right? I learned more on these Paris ministries. I, see what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and yes, ma'am. We talked about that in this scope. You need to rewind it and watch the replay. Yes, ma'am. We talked. We touched. We talked about all that tonight. How the disciples even sat down for three and a half years and was taught before they got up and taught. It, they was taught something before they got up and started teaching anybody anything. You got folks coming straight out the world, baby, coming straight out the off, straight off the stripping pole, going straight into the pulpit. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Please forgive me. Them names be going up so fast. I tell you, I'll be trying to look at the pictures to see, but whew, I'm so sorry. I, please forgive me. I, no, I didn't mean no harm for that. I'm trying to look at this picture. I can't see and I ain't even see the name because I'm too busy seeing this red picture trying to figure that out. But we have to be taught. We have to be taught. We have to fall in compliance and, and, and God is good. Hey, bro, I see you and jumped on Periscope. Um, we have to be in compliance. We have to be in compliance. If we're going to um, eat the fruit, the good of the lamb, we got to be good. See, we have to be, you have to bring your best to God if you want God's best for you, right? And the only thing, like I said earlier, the only thing that we possess in our grasp, in our possession, that is that God doesn't even own, is the soul that he gave us. That's all he wants. He wants your soul. He wants your soul. He wants your soul, your soul, your soul. Yep, yours too. Yep, I see you in the back. He wants you too. He don't care nothing about your sin. He don't care nothing about you with that boyfriend up in there. He don't care nothing about that girlfriend you keep laying with. Because half of the a lot of these people got a got a a, 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 a a girlfriend and a wife on the side. They got a, a, a they got a, a a boyfriend and a husband on the side. And you know what? They think that they can't come to God because they're adulterers and they're adulterers and they're falling in adultery and they, 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 they've gotten themselves a uh, double minded, torn in between two people. Let me tell you something. The God that I serve, he said, come as you are and he's able to give you rest. Come as you are. Cast all your cares upon him for he careth for you. He care for you. He care for you. He care for you. He care for you. He care, he care for your kids. He care for your grandkids. Yup, that disrespectful one. Yup, that unruly one. Yup, that one that cussed you out. Listen, send some prayers up. If you guys have any prayer list, any prayer requests, feel free to send them in to me. Prophetess Adams Ministries at gmail.com. Prophetess Adams Ministries at gmail.com. Still praying. Still my sister's keeper. I'm still my brother's keeper. I'm still on the wall praying for us. The beat don't stop. I'm praying more now than ever before. Listen, I'm on a mission. Let Help me help you get saved. Help me help you get these kids saved. Help me help you get our grandkids saved. Help me help you break these curses off our lives. Help me help you get these generational curses broke off of our sons because that's who this attack is after. This attack is against our men. Us women, we need to get together and we need to go down for these men. The attack is not against us. It's against the men. The devil is just using us to get to him. Now that was a word. I don't know who needed to hear it, but the Holy Ghost showed enough said it. We need to be praying. Again, I am Prophetess Adams, your praise and worship leader. It's an honor and it's a privilege to come before you. I don't take it lightly. I I love you. I love you once. I love you twice. I love you three times and I mean it. Um, and I'm praying for you. And the beauty about Prayer is, I don't need your permission to pray for you. How about that? If I see a name, it's on the prayer list. If I hear something, it's on the prayer list. I don't need your permission. And guess what? I'm not asking for it. Bam. Bam. So, I'm praying for you. 
Know that somebody is praying for you today. Somebody's praying for your family today. As a matter of fact, I'm soliciting it up prayers for your generation today. Your children are blessed. Your grandchildren are blessed. Your future is blessed. Your future, future, future is blessed. Your grandchildren's grandchildren's children's children are blessed. I curse and I rebuke the devourer of the enemy off your life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not fold. We will stand firm. We will live holy. We live, we will live righteously right and our, our sons and daughters will too see you got to claim that thing now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen i believe see listen i believe today and i'm praying for your unbelief i'm praying that god will touch your belief but touch your unbelief that you may believe how about that yeah, see, this is what your sister's keeper look like. This is what your brother's keepers look like. I love you, and I mean it. See, I love you, and I mean it. And I don't need your permission to pray for you, and I'm going to be praying for you. Yep, you, 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 and you too. How about that? And if you need to reach me in the meantime, in between time, you can catch me between prayers. Yes, sir. Prophetess Adams Ministries at gmail.com. That's all for you tonight, folks. I love you. Look, I love you once. I love you twice. I love you three times. Be encouraged. Be inspired. Speak those things. Speak life over your life, over your circumstances. Speak life over your situation. Speak life. Listen. Listen. Only the strong gonna survive. And your strength only come from, from, from your faith in God. Your faith is only kindled and strengthened through the trials and tribulations of life. If you don't go through, you can't get to. Don't be afraid to be broken. <laughs> you said that's that buffalo coming out. Don't be afraid to be broken. Don't be afraid to be broken. Don't be afraid to be pressed. Strengthen yourself. Strengthen yourself upon his most holy faith. I'm asking God to bless you. Father God, as we leave this place, but not your presence, we ask right now, oh God, that you will touch every soul that has came into the room tonight. Touch everyone one by one and name by name by the renewing of their minds, creating us a clean heart, God. Creating us a clean heart, renew within us a right spirit. Father God, I'm asking that you will touch the families, touch the husbands, the wives, the single women, the single men, the grandmothers, the grandfathers. Touch the generations. Touch the mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, aunts, uncles, caregivers alike. Touch the families right now, oh God. Keep them covered and protect them oh god draw them by the old draw them by your divine spirit oh god i ask right now and we send forth a spirit of conviction to every ear that's hearing the gospel every ear that's under the sound of my voice father god i'm asking that you go forth and convict them of sin and judgment draw them in in mercy draw them in in mercy god will them in and by your divine spirit in the name of jesus i'm asking that you strengthen your brothers strengthen the sisters Strengthen the body of Christ. Touch our president. Touch the lesbians, the homosexuals. Touch the murderers, the liars, the thief. Go behind convalescent walls, Lord. Go behind the prison walls, God. Touch right now the alcoholic. Touch right now those sick and shut in. Cover the land, God. Pour out your spirit upon the earth, God. Begin to draw men of sin and judgment. Lord, convict them, God. Convict them, oh God. Give mercy. Have mercy. Pour out your mercy. Lord, look down on us all, one by one and name by name, through the eye of your son, Jesus. Jesus, with mercy, love, compassion, long suffering, meek and temperance. Oh God, we trust you. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We be so careful to give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, to God be the glory. This is the end of our session. Sound doctrine with me, your praise and worship leader, Prophetess Adams. We was discussing the disobedient. No. Nope. The wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Swipe, share, and invite. I love you guys. And I will be back on Saturday. Okay, let me make the announcement. Saturday, we are doing a Zoom call for a prayer session. We are doing our early morning prayer session. If you guys want to get in on the Zoom, feel free to um, email me at prophetessadamsministries at gmail.com prophetessadamsministries at gmail.com if you want to get in on the Saturday morning prayer session, if you need some prayer requests, and even if you have some praise reports please don't forget about our praise reports because as the scriptures say, we are overcomers by the words of our testimonies
It's important to give a testimony. We are overcomer by the words of our testimony in the blood of the lamb. If you can see that God has healed my body, that's why I tell my testimony when the Holy Spirit give it to me. If you can see that the Lord healed my body and cleaned me up and I don't look like half of what I've been through, he can do it for you. If he can come as low down to the gutter where I was at to get little old dusty on me, woo, and clean me up, wash me up, deliver me, purge me, put a little buff shine and a little something, something on me, teach me a little something, something, teach me some mannerisms. He can do it for you. I love you. Be encouraged. Listen, call somebody tonight, tell them that you love them. Call somebody tonight and repent to them so that you can go to God with a clean, clear heart. In Jesus' name, I thank y'all for coming. Thank you for your support. I love you so much. Hearts matters. Lives matters. All lives matters. And it's not just black lives, white lives. It's all lives. It's equality matter. Righteousness matter. If we was living righteously, we wouldn't have um, division. See? If we was all walking the same walk, talking the same thing, living the same thing, minding the same mind as they did up in the upper room, there would be no division amongst us. But that's scripture. You know me, I'm a Bible girl. We're going to go scripture. I ain't got time for the foolishness. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't believe the hype. Don't get caught up in the distractions of life. Stay focused. Keep your eyes as a flint. Keep your face as a flint. Put your blinders on like the horses got and stay focused. I love you. God bless and good night. Thank you, Jesus.